All right. The time has come. So let's talk about docking. No, not that docking. Man, y'all have a dirty mind. Hello, fellow Novians. My name is Rob, and today we are talking about docking and boarding in our tutorial series. So let's get right into it and talk about boarding, first of all, since it is the shortest of the topics. If you have not noticed yet, if you go into your uh, RDMS permissions, and we're going to go ahead and create a new RDMS just to show... We have two new things here. One is board construct. That's going to let you board. Uh, well, not you, because if you own it, you can just board it by default. But that's going to let other people board your construct. And then we also have dock construct, and that's going to let other people dock to your construct. Now, if you own both constructs, you don't need to set these permissions for yourself. You just need to set them for other people that you would like to dock to your construct. So if you have an org, you would probably need to... Um, set up a dock construct permission for your org so that all your members can dock their ships if that's something you want to do unless you just want to go ahead and do a person by person basis you know the usual stuff so let's talk about board construct the uh, important thing here is that this permission does not activate until somebody is sitting in the pilot seat so if your ship is not active then anybody can walk on your ship and uh, I think the reason they did that was for showroom purposes because you you don't want to have a ship sitting in a showroom that nobody can get on and take a look around and stuff so what happens if you sit in the seat and they're not on the board construct list well they get yeeted out of the ship so it can be funny um, similarly if you remove uh, the permission uh, for board construct um, you know while you're in the seat it'll also eat them out, out of the ship so um, you know if you have somebody on your ship and you want to troll them a little bit uh, you could just kick them into space um, <laughs> I, I wouldn't advise you doing that with people you don't know maybe with your friends or something and, and it would be funny but yeah, I could see that getting old if you just pick up random people and then take them into space and dump them out of your ship. Uh, I did not give anybody that idea. Nope, 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 I did not. All right, so that is boarding. Um, if you're not on the list and somebody gets in the pilot seat, you're going to get kicked out of the ship forcefully. Um, so now let's talk about docking. So there are a couple ways to dock a ship. The... Um, Maneuver tool is still a uh, a possibility here, right? So if I grab this with the maneuver tool and I try to maneuver it there, this does not have permission. So it turns red and I just hit this bot wall here, right? And you can see that it says Alt-T to dock. Um, so basically you just click Alt-T. And as long as you have permission to dock the ship, uh, it'll go in. So if I hit Alt-T, whoop. Now I can uh, now I can dock the ship. So all you got to do is uh, maneuver it in there, and then it's it's uh, parented to the construct, and I don't have to do all that garbage with the uh, the other stuff. So if you see, look, it's it's parented, no problem. You can still do the shake test if you want, um, but with the way the new docking thing works, is as long as you have the the docking permission, you're good to go. So, similarly, Alt-T. Oh. How far away do I have to pull this? Got stupid maneuver tool. All right. It's, nope, it still thinks it's docked. Oh, okay, there we go. Nope, it still thinks it's docked. Alt-T. Fun things, fun things. Okay. So if it still thinks it's docked and I maneuver the other ship. Yep. 
That is funny. I mean, I'd rather have that than it like destroy my ship and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, that that's pretty funny. <laughs> so learning things and stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, move this ship away from. Come on, give me some thrust here. Okay. So we shouldn't be docked anymore over here. And uh, let's go back towards it. And yeah, now we're not docked anymore. So it does not remember um, who docked. And as you, you can see, if you're flying, you just kind of bounce off of it, right? You just boing, 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 boing. So there's two ways you can do this. You can hit Alt-T, which is obviously the easiest way. Um, same as with the maneuver tool, right? Or you can click, uh, right click, and then dock to this construct while looking at the uh, construct. Obviously, Alt-T would be the faster way. So let's go ahead and cut my engines. I'm going to Alt-T. And uh, now I am, uh, you know, with docking permissions, and I can uh, get my ship. Ah! <laughs> there we go. And I am docked. So, you know, with Archut, it takes a little bit of um, finesse. I could actually go into the uh, par parameters for this um, if I know what height this is at and have it hover at that height. And that way I could just kind of go straight in there um, if I was going to use this ship a lot or whatever. But um, you can see it is still docked. So, that is the uh, the two ways to do the docking on your ships. All right, so now that I'm sitting in the uh, pilot seat here of the main ship that the other ship is docked to, we have one final element to talk about here, and uh, that is the control for the pilot of the um, mothership, so to speak. So if we look at the top here, um, we have a couple options in the build helper obviously you have to hit tab to be able to click on these um, this new one right here with this little link uh, chain link icon right here is constructs and avatars if you click on that blip, blip, you have two drop down boxes I already opened them earlier but you have constructs and avatars so if we go ahead and open those up we can see that the docked construct is the company Nix. And if you have more docked constructs, they will show up here. And it also shows you how much weight that is adding to your ship. So this is adding 68 tons uh, to the mass of the uh, Zeus. So, yeah. And uh, if you wanted to get rid of it, um, uh, you could click on this button right here and it would let you undock that ship however I think because both of these are owned by me um, I can't use this button and it says you must maneuver the construct out of the construct zone to undock it um, however I know if it was somebody else's ship this usually shows up as uh, available and you can just undock their ship from here um, so yeah if you accidentally docked a ship or something you could get rid of it from this panel Similarly, under avatars, it will show you everyone that is on your ship. Right now, I am the only one on my ship, but if other people were on this list, I could click this right here, which says deboard this avatar, and if I clicked OK, it would uh, kick them off of the ship. So that is the very basics of docking. Um, there is apparently a widget and some other stuff, but I have not figured out exactly how to use those. You may have to be using the... Uh, the vanilla uh, HUD on these things uh, in order to see that uh, widget. Uh, let's go ahead and hop in here. Maybe I can see it if I disengage the... Uh, it's Alt-3, I think. Yep. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm not not seeing a uh, docking widget here. Um, oh, but this is interesting. It does tell you that I am docked and locked with the Zeus. So that is handy right there um, up at the top right. So if you are docking a ship and or if you want to know that it is certainly docked, this is very handy right here. So I did not know that. Um, if you guys figure out how to use the docking widget, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, uh, you now know how to basically dock a ship Alt-7. I mean, I mean, not Alt-7, Alt-T to authorize yourself to dock if you have permissions to dock on that construct. Obviously, if you own both constructs, you have permissions. And um, then you can just move the uh, ship out of the construct zone to undock it. And uh, that's about it. No more, uh, no more maneuver tool fanciness. No more having to stand on solid ground while you maneuver a ship into your ship. Uh, just fun. And uh, now we can use hangar bays and landing strips and uh, space carriers and all that good stuff that we've wanted to use for a long time. Um, and we can make sure that nobody's hiding on our ships uh, for our... Uh, you know, missions into uh, PvP space and all that good stuff. So that is that. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. The, uh, the liking and sharing goes a long way into helping small content creators like yours truly. And uh, that's the thing, right? Otherwise, I will see you out here, out there, out everywhere in uh, space. <laughs> Stay safe, my friends. Just as a little append addendum, addendum, just as a little addendum, the uh, docking boarding widget, uh, in order for it to show up, you need to reapply the uh, default configuration to your pilot seat. Obviously, if you're using one of the uh, HUDs, uh, that's not going to be bueno for you because it may... Uh, screw up the HUD. Also, Arch is no longer doing uh, Arch HUD, so it may take a while to get that updated. There is some uh, coding you can add to a unit start event. I will uh, put that as a uh, tagged um, thing in the description. I mean, not description, in the uh, comment section, since I can't put code in the description. So, there you have it. Uh, hope that helps. Later!